Congratulations on the award, Obi, and you helped put Dayton on the map. What are you most proud of from this past season? Uh, just the connection we made as a team. Uh, we, we had a really great bond this year uh, with the teammates and the coaches, and it showed on the court. Everybody was bought into what the coaches was asking us to do, and that's why we were so successful this year. Now, Obi, last night would have been uh, the national championship game, and this season fell wide open for many teams that could have made a deep March run. How much have you thought about what could have been for your Flyers this past month? I definitely feel like uh, our team could have, could have made it to the national championship game just because of what we were so uh, able to do this, this season and the amount of uh, skills we had on the team. Uh, everybody was bought into what the uh, coaches was asking, and we was dominating every single game this year. And uh, we would have definitely been in the national championship game. So Love hearing that. Uh, <laughs> but you can only base it on, on the memories that are real. When you look back, what will be your favorite memory from this past season? Is there one? Uh, definitely the brotherhood that we uh, that we made throughout this season. Uh, everybody, like a lot of teams, can't say that they're they're bonded the way we were just because I know like every single body on our team loved each other uh, deeply and uh, will go to war with with each other every single day. So uh, it will definitely be the bond that we made with each other. Uh, me, Jalen, Trey. Uh, Dwayne, Ibby, Ryan, all of those guys. Like, I love those guys to death, and we'll go to war with them any day. I mentioned your household name now. You were not a big-time recruit coming out of high school. Yes, you sir. had to go to, to prep school for a year. You grew yes, five sir. inches. When you look back, you know, what was the difference in making that jump, that the kid that was overlooked to now a player of the year? Uh, I, just, I, I never changed what I did. I always, uh, I always get in the gym. Uh, work on my craft, whether that's getting extra shots up or uh, weights and stuff. But I just feel like with the guys that I had around me and the coaches that I had around me and the family that I got around me, they pushed me every single day to be the person and the player that I am. So uh, I thank them every single day for that. We're watching a, a clip of all your dunks. I hope next year <laughs> yes, when sir. you're in the league that we get to see you uh, all-star weekend in the dunk contest yes, as you've declared for the NBA draft. How are you staying in yes, shape sir. and making sure you're ready for the next level? Uh, so I'm I'm out here in Jersey and I have a gym that me and my brother goes into every single day and we just work on things that we need to get better at whether that's uh, getting extra shots up uh, ball handling or anything uh, that I need to work on uh, to play at the next level. So uh, me and my brothers in the gym every single day getting better. So, OK, so outside of the gym, what are you doing during yes, your sir. downtime? Uh, definitely watching a lot of shows on Netflix. There's a lot of new shows that came out on Netflix and Hulu. So uh, definitely watching a lot of those shows and uh, just spending time with my family. Uh, me, my girlfriend, my brother, uh, we're around my family every single day and we're just having fun, uh, uh, like enjoying the moment. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.